Hey guys, welcome back to another physics tutorial today in Blender. Today we're going to be making a logo outline type of animation where you don't really see the logo, but it kind of just appears um, when we have some physics interacting with it. So I have a new document here. I'm actually going to really quickly open up an old document with some uh, a logo that I really like. Now this is from our, our previous tutorial. I'm actually just going to copy this entire um, empty structure here. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into our logo reveal file. So the reason I'm doing this is because I think this logo is great for the example that I'm about to show. Um, I do believe this empty is still animated so I'm going to take all the keyframes, delete them. Yep, nothing's animated anymore. We are good to go. Let's go ahead and save this project. I'm going to first set everything up in the file. So I'm going to set up my camera as usual, zero everything out, 90 degrees, bring it back on the Y. Let's go ahead and take our empty, rotate it upwards like that, scale it down, bring it down, scale it, and just try to bring it into our camera view like that. Go into your rendered view. Let's just quickly set up a little HDRI for some basic lighting. Go ahead and click on color, environment texture. Let's add an HDRI in here. I do like this sky HDRI. I'm kind of in love with this sky HDRI, so let's just go ahead with that for now. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, we're not actually gonna be showing these um, objects here, but we are gonna be interacting with them to kind of reveal this logo. So this is gonna be a really, really interesting um, simulation here that we're gonna do. Now, there's a lot of ways we could do this, and I think one of the most fun ways that we could try to do this is by using a fluid. So what I think we're going to do is we're gonna actually lay this thing flat. So I just had an idea, we're just gonna test this out. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a floor plane here, just bring it below our object, and then I'm actually going to reset our Y location for the camera to zero. I'm gonna bring it up on the Y axis and I'm just gonna face it straight down just like that. And we're just gonna bring it up above our scene. So now we have our camera looking down on this object. Now, the goal is to fill our scene with liquid and any gaps in the liquid will be caused by the logo. So let's go ahead and add in a cube. And now this is gonna act as our liquid domain, or sorry, our liquid simulation. So go to object with your cube selected, object quick effects, quick liquid. So already, as you guys can see, you're gonna drop into wireframe mode, we have our simulation. Now, how do we actually make this simulation interact with the logo? So in order to do this, first I'm gonna back up to frame one, I am going to click on my domain and I am going to go over to my domain settings, click on cache, and I'm just gonna assign a new folder on the desktop as our cache folder. Go ahead and accept that. And we're just gonna bake out the frame 100 for now. And then where it says replay, go ahead and click on all. And now we can go ahead and resize this domain. So scale it down, scale it up. Now we're gonna scale it so that it's just above our floor plane here. This looks pretty much perfect. And then I kinda want it to narrow in on the logo. So squeeze it in like that. Let's go ahead and check this out. Now as you guys can see, this little mini cube is actually our flow source. So I'm gonna scale that down as well. And what I would like to do is start our flow source off to the side here. And then I'm also gonna bring our logo down to about this point right here so that it's barely going past the domain. As you guys can see, this is our domain wall right here and we have our logo actually going past it. And the reason for that, you're going to see in a second. So go ahead and first of all, remove any possible physics properties you have on any of our objects here. So I'm gonna go to x-ray mode, select our objects and make sure there is no collision physics because we're not going to be using collision physics for this. In fact, we're going to be using fluid, um, fluid simulation physics. So at this very moment, I am actually going to go ahead and click on our first object, which is, I'm also gonna hide the domain so we can see what we're doing. Go ahead and click on this object, go to fluid, and then type, we're gonna do effector, and then for the surface thickness for now, just do 0.1, and then go ahead and do the same to each one of these. We're gonna do effector, um, surface thickness 0.1, uh, we're gonna do fluid effector, and unfortunately we have to just do this on each one, but it'll, it'll just take a quick second here. Uh, fluid effector, maybe there is a way to copy it, I just I haven't looked into that. Fluid effector, and point one. So now all of these are now going to be affecting our simulation because they are fluid effectors. Let's go ahead and turn our domain back on. Now let's click on our domain. Our actual source right here, which is this little cube, is gonna be putting out the liquid. So I'm gonna actually bring it down just a little bit, like right here. 
Um, now at this moment, it's just going to act as a geometry. We want to act. We want it to act as a flow source. So instead of geometry under its physics properties, we want to click on inflow, which means it's going to basically act as a faucet, constantly putting out um, water. And then for the initial velocity, we're going to go ahead and give that a z velocity of negative two, and that should act as a faucet. Now we're going to go ahead and do a quick test bake. Go to wireframe mode. Um, 32 samples is fine. Let's just go ahead and check to see if everything is working. Now, as we can see, it is working properly. Now you can even see it's starting to interact with our actual um, shape here, which is fantastic. Now, when we turn this resolution up, we're going to get a much better um, simulation. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take our empty S Z and scale this a lot on the Z axis, right? Now go ahead and do object apply scale. And you may have to also apply the scale to these objects in the future. But for now, just go ahead and make sure that it is going past the domain a little bit. Yep, we're good to go. That's the domain line right there. And we are good to go. So let's go ahead and bake this again. Now this time when we bake our simulation, we're going to bump up our resolution. Okay, we're going to bump up our resolution to like 50. And let's just see what happens. Go ahead and click on bake all. Go ahead and give that a quick second to get to frame 100 there. And make sure you guys can see the timeline. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and play this back. As you guys can see, we're getting a lot more liquid now. Now this isn't a mesh yet, but here's what's really cool. Look at this top down view here. Notice how the outline of the logo is beginning to form. This is exactly what we want. Now the higher, um, the better the particle count and the higher or the higher the quality, the more it's going to fill in these little gaps. As you can see, it's probably going to have a hard time getting through these gaps right here. So we might have to slightly modify the logo or we might have to add another inflow object where we can't get to here. But what's really cool is let's go ahead and rebake this one more time. Check mark this little box that says mesh. Let's go ahead and bake all. And I just want to show you guys what is actually happening here so you can understand what we're going to do when we set up this high quality physics simulation. It is going to look incredible. Look at this. So look at the simulation, right? Let's go ahead to uh, rendered view here. Now let's go ahead and hide all of our physics objects here. Look at this. Look at this top down view now. Now you guys can begin to see this logo forming, right? And then just, to, just so we can see it better, I'm going to make the liquid blue. Look at how cool that is. Watch, let's go ahead and play this back. Whoa, what? Kenny, how'd you do that? It's really that simple. Now this is a very low quality simulation here. It's only 50 samples, but notice what we can actually achieve with just the simplest things here. Now I'm loving the way this looks, but I'm going to bake it at a much higher quality. Um, and just see if it can fill into those gaps that it, it isn't currently filling into. So let's go ahead back to wireframe mode. Let's click on our domain. Let's go back to our domain settings here. Sorry, you gotta click on this, this is your domain. Click on your domain. Let's go ahead and take a look at these settings. I'm gonna click on free all. And then where it says resolution here, I'm gonna bump that up to 200. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this and it's gonna take a while, so I might have to come back. Let's go ahead and see how long this is gonna take to bake. All right, so this is gonna take a minute. I'm gonna come back when this is done and show you guys the result. All right, guys, so we are back. And as you guys can see, the bake is done. Um, it, this is what it looks like right here. It looks incredible. If we hop to our camera view, you can see that at about frame 80, almost the whole logo is outlined, which is fantastic. But we're gonna actually have to adjust some settings here. Because as you guys can see, the liquid is actually starting to overflow a little bit. Now this looks really, really good. Um, in terms of how this is coming out, absolutely incredible. We did everything we needed to do. We're going to have to mess with some settings and we're going to have to also cut off the flow of water at a certain point so that it stops flowing. Um, but darn, does this thing look good? Like you go to any frame and it just looks so cool. It's cool to watch it all fill up. Um, and this technique can be used with pretty much any logo as long as you make it a, a fluid effector, you can pretty much do this. I'm going to go ahead and play this back. It's probably going to play back quite slowly. Yep, it's gonna play back quite slowly, but you can see the liquid is going around and forming into these shapes. Um, and what's really cool is you could take one of these, export it as a mesh, and just kind of have that object if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and do a couple of things. One of the things we need to do is we need to actually stop the flow of the liquid. So let's go back to solid view. As much as it pains me, guys, we're gonna have to click on our mesh here, 
we're gonna have to unbake. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on free all. Now I'm gonna go back to wireframe mode and I'm gonna click back on my original cube that is actually putting this liquid out. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna go over to the flow object and we're actually going to um, basically turn off this faucet that we have pouring the liquid in. So uh, at about, I think 60, we're gonna cut it off. So at frame 59, I'm gonna insert a keyframe for the, um, for the use flow. I believe it's used. Yeah. Um, so we're going to keyframe use flow and then at 60, we're going to uncheck that and we're going to keyframe it. So now it is going to stop there. So let's go ahead and just do a quick test make sure it is stopping. I'm going to do 20 resolution divisions here and just quickly bake this. It's going to run through very quickly and let's just make sure that it does indeed stop at frame 60 and it does. So as you guys can see, it does start emitting the liquid and then it stops at about frame 60. This is exactly what we want because at this point the fluid can actually settle. Let's go ahead and click on free all end frame. Let's make it just like 150 for now. I'm going to go over to my output settings 150 for our end frame. Um, and this way we are just dealing with frames 0 to 150. So let's go ahead back to our domain settings. Resolution divisions. Let's just make it 100 for now. Um, and let's go ahead and bake this and see what we get. So as you guys can see, it is baking right now. Now what I want to see is how long it takes this liquid to settle. And once we know that exact timing, then we can adjust everything as needed. And then we're going to bump up our resolution for our liquid up to a very high number. I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here and come back when this bake is done. Alrighty, so we are back guys. And as you can see, our simulation is done. Now, this is only 100 for our resolution. So let's go ahead and just play this back and see what it looks like. It looks really, really good. Let's just see if it fills in all those gaps. It does. Now guys, check this out. I want to point something out. The actual liquid stops flowing at frame 60, remember? Now the reason we do that is because we want this liquid to settle out. So watch, it's starting to settle. And while it settles, the liquid can flow into those small cracks that it was missing the first time. For example, right in here, it, the, none of the liquid was getting in there. Now it is. And this just looks fantastic. Now, I'm noticing some stuff is floating on the top here. You guys notice that? The reason that is happening, one, is because our resolution is so low. And two, is because our actual physics object of our letters probably stop right there. I'm going to go ahead and unhide all of them. And as you guys can see, the letters stop right about at that level, right? So see how everything's sitting on top of there? That is because our, our letters need to get stretched out more. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go ahead and click on our empty S Z and just scale those up even more. So there's no chance, there's no chance of any liquid getting um, above these letters now. Now we're going to have to rebake since we adjusted our actual physics objects. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this again. And when I'm ready to rebake, we will rebake. At this point, the animation is done, guys. All you have to do now is you're actually going to have to rebake at a higher resolution. Unless you like this, if this is what you like, fine. Go ahead and, and bake that out. I'm going to render at a much higher resolution. Sorry, bake at a much higher resolution. Right now, this is, um, let's see, liquid resolution divisions are 100. I am going to actually bump those up to like 400 or 500 maybe. And you guys will be able to see that final result on my Instagram reel. This is pretty much it, guys. I don't think I'm going to go into any more settings. The only other thing you could possibly change is the color of the ground. And then, of course, you can zoom more into your image here. You can you can frame things out a little bit differently. But as you guys can see, we do have our animation. The liquid fills up. It shows our logo. I just think this effect is super awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.